as another hint, I will take the same matrix, matrix A, and take its determinant again, but I will do it using a different technique, and either technique is, is valid. So here we're saying, what's the determinant of the three by three matrix A? And what we can do is we can rewrite the first two columns. So this column right over here, we can rewrite it as four, four, negative two. And then the second column right over here, we can rewrite. So it's negative one, five, and zero. And what we can do is we can take the sum of the products of the first three top left to bottom right diagonals. Let me show you. So the product of that, that, plus that, plus that. I'm trying my best to draw this neatly. And then from that, subtract the top right to bottom left diagonals. So from that, subtract, let me get a color I haven't used. Subtract that, and that, and that. So I know it's really confusing with all these things I've drawn, but let's look at the blue ones first. So we have four times five times zero, four times five times zero, plus negative one times three times negative two, plus negative one times three times negative two, let me put these in parentheses, plus one times four times zero, one times four times zero, and then we're gonna subtract all of these orange diagonals that go from the top right to the bottom left. So we're gonna subtract, we could do one times five times negative two, one times five times negative two, and then we could subtract, subtract, four times three times zero, four times three times zero, and then we can subtract negative one times four times zero, negative one times four times zero. And now we just evaluate this over here. Four times five times zero is just zero. Negative one times three times negative two is positive six. So this is positive six. One times four times zero is zero once again. And then we have one times five times negative two is negative 10. But then we have this negative out here, so it becomes a positive 10. And then we have four times three times zero. Well, that's just going to be zero. And then we have negative one times four times zero, which is just zero. So we're left with positive six plus 10, which is equal to 16.